Bank of America closed its branch at 6538 Ricerstown Road in September, leaving just two ATMs to transact business. I used to actually frequent this bank a lot, different transactions, but now it makes me not even want to be with Bank of America anymore because it's so far from everything else. What do you think about them closing this location? It's horrible because this is a nice community and we need a bank. I mean, I've been dealing with uh, Bank of America for since 1989. The Maryland Consumer Rights Coalition joined 15 other rights groups and community groups to send this letter to the Federal Office of the Comptroller, charging, among other things, Bank of America has had a disparate impact on communities of color. The branches they've closed have all been in majority black neighborhoods, and the branches, the full-service branches they've kept open have been in majority white neighborhoods. This is really a banking desert, and people are going to be starved with access to credit and access to the kind of banking services they need. Marceline White says this leaves customers with high-cost options, like check cashing centers and pawn shops, and she says seniors have said they don't feel safe at ATMs and the teller-customer relationship is an important one. And the bank teller plays an important role in spotting elder financial fraud. So if somebody comes in with an older adult and they suddenly are taking out a lot more money, the bank teller is the front line helping identify that fraud. A Bank of America spokesman told 11 News there are seven Bank of America financial centers within four miles of the Reisterstown Road location. And that like the national trend, clients in Baltimore are increasingly using online and mobile banking services. The spokesman also pointed out the Mondawmin and Smith Avenue locations have financial centers. Now, those two financial centers have a customer service representative there. Bank of America says it is constantly adapting its financial center network to fit its clients. As for having a disparate impact on communities of color, no comment. Although the spokesman could not speak to it, the Maryland Consumer Rights Coalition says it is meeting with the Bank of America on November 28th, along with community groups. Lisa Robinson, WBAL, TV 11 News.